Hi, I just had a really interesting conversation with a certain someone and I thought I will record my thoughts about it before I forgot them. I thought it will be interesting for people to hear that. So we were walking and talking about uh, how people lived in different parts of the world and uh, in different periods of time. So she was telling me about how during the Soviet occupation, plenty of German women were raped. Hundreds of thousands of women were raped uh, in Berlin and in other cities in Germany. As young as eight years old, I'm sure these numbers are not quite correct. Usually, statistically, uh, the reported or estimated numbers are not as high as they should be realistically because if you listen to testimonies uh, you can tell that these people are not telling the whole story because understandably so if you have been in an abusive environment for years you don't want to appear vulnerable or you feel ashamed of what other people did to you so people don't want to share these stories or talk about these things but uh, some people did, and uh, there are historical documents uh, documenting these facts that indeed plenty of people, plenty of women, I'm sure there were men too and younger children, younger than eight years old who were raped. And uh, if you have studied psychohistory at least a little bit, you know that Nazi Germany or Germany in general was not very healthy at the time. And... Uh, you can read more if you're interested at psychohistory.com. So the first thought that I had when my friend told me about uh, hundreds and thousands of uh, women being raped in Germany during the Soviet occupation was that it explains German porn. And I shared that thought with uh, her and she said, oh, that's interesting. I never connected that but it makes sense and I never thought about that in that direct way either but I knew I have figured out many years ago that people associate their traumas with sexuality so if you have inner pain if you have emotions that are too over overwhelming or too confusing you might associate that with pornography or sexuality so if you have been abused, for example, you might be into people being abused. Either you want to abuse people or you want to see other people being abused or you want to be abused yourself. Or if you have been raped, you might be into being raped or raping other people. And if you have been beaten, you might want to beat other people. If you have been controlled, you want to be in control of other people or you want to be controlled by other people sexually uh, sometimes it's more subtle than that sometimes people just connect any pain neglect abandonment rejection with sex and sexuality and relive those moments in different aspects of sexuality but it's still painful experiences or memories or emotions or wishes through a sexual lens that's a replication that's a repetition compulsion people want to relive their childhood experiences and master them by by projecting their childhood onto their adult lives and dealing with it that way if you explore german porn genres you might find that for example, gangbangs are quite popular. You can see a direct connection here. Thousands of women and children being raped. And then gangbangs where a woman, usually a woman, is used and humiliated and abused by many men. Or bukaki, where many men release their semen on a woman's face. And it's the same concept. 
plenty of men have power over you and they use you as a sexual object. Other genres are, for example, BDSM. People being aroused by being in control over others or being controlled by others. If you have been raised in an environment where people had power over you, where you felt you lack control or have no control, you might be attracted to that. Other genres are, for example, scat or pee, where people excrete onto you, where people shit or pee on you, or you do that to somebody else. Or pedophilia or incest, where it is implied or actually that's what's going on. Uh, people have sex with their family members or with children, and this is considered sexually arousing. Or in general, humiliation and dehumanization and German porn and then porn in general. So understanding a person's history or societies as a whole history can help understand why people are as they are and why they do things that they do and in this case why German porn is as it is. So I hope that was at least somewhat informative and interesting to you and this is it for this video. See you in the future. Bye.